Tonight at 10 o'clock, it has been more than three years since 11-year-old Josue Flores was stabbed to death as he walked home from school. Tonight, the man once charged in the case and still considered a suspect by police is taking to YouTube to proclaim his innocence. Channel 2 anchor Keith Garvin joining us live at HPD headquarters downtown with details on this for us. Keith? Bill, the video is about 10 minutes long, and in it, Andre Jackson addresses a number of issues. He strongly proclaims his innocence, even though HPD and also Hostway's family believes that he is the suspect. The video is sparking some strong reaction. My name is Andre, and I'm making this video. Andre Jackson released from custody because of inconclusive DNA results, but still considered a suspect by HPD in the murder of 11-year-old Josue Flores in 2016, is speaking out in a YouTube video released Saturday. In the video, Jackson criticizes the department and Chief Art Acevedo, the media, and the Northside community where Josue was senselessly murdered. Members of that community are not happy with the message. The video was inflammatory. I think that it was taunting the family and the community. I think that it was racist, and I think that it was completely unnecessary. Another issue being addressed outside of the video is a court order requiring HPD to return several items seized by HPD in its investigation. It includes two cell phones and clothing belonging to Jackson. My items were tested in a DNA lab and there was none of Josue's DNA on me nor my items and vice versa. The department has not yet complied with the order and in a statement to Channel 2, Chief Acevedo says HPD was not provided notice of the motion nor formally served with a copy of the order. HPD intends to seek appropriate relief from the court. Channel 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss says while the chief may be choosing to hold on to the property for now, he won't be able to defy the judge's order. He can say that he's Kim Kardashian's husband, but at the end of the day, the chief recognizes that in the criminal justice system, the toughest kid in the schoolyard is the judge, the man or woman who wears the robe. And in this case, that's the rule. And the Northside community is planning a community meeting in the next few days. They promise to have details on that in the coming days very, very soon. In the meantime, if you want to see that 10-minute video on your own, you can go to the story on our website at clicktreehouston.com. It's going to be on the homepage. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Keith Carvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News.